Hi, I'm Bruce Hills, International Director of World Outreach. In this short video, we're going to have a look, a brief look at the birth and the early years of World Outreach until about the mid 1970s. These were formative years that shaped part of World Outreach's heritage. Let's begin. Our founder, Len Jones, was born in Fremantle, Western Australia on the 10th of August 1900, the youngest son of Welsh coal miner John Jones and his wife Jane, who'd emigrated to Australia to work in the gold mines. Not much is known of Len's early life, but as a young adult he worked as an accountant in Melbourne. In 1923 he was converted at a Methodist church in South Melbourne. About a year later, in response to a call of God to ministry, Len attended the Melbourne Bible Institute and trained under prominent Anglican minister Rev. C. H. Nash. Len preached regularly in Melbourne and Tasmania before ministering overseas in the USA, Canada, Great Britain and New Zealand. On one of his trips to New Zealand, he met his future wife, Sheila Biggin. However, Len had made plans to travel to Canada to complete his studies. Sheila followed later and married Len in Winnipeg, Canada in 1928. They had four children, Bedford, Phoebe, Seth and John. In the late 1920s, Len pastored a relatively large church for its day in London. On the 30th of September 1931, he was invited to lecture at the Danzig Bible Institute, subsequently relocating there in due course. While lecturing, he was asked to visit White Russia, now Belarus, where he received a distinct and life-changing call to missions. Through the work of a North American organization named the Russian and Eastern European Mission, REAM, Len witnessed large numbers of Russians being baptized and great crowds of people packing into meeting halls to hear God's word, where services would last four to five hours. Len later wrote, I knew I would never be the same again. I came face to face with how my life could best serve and count for God, and my decision was missions, and I've never once questioned that decision. Tragically, Len and Sheila's eldest son, Bedford, died at age two and a half of meningitis in late 1931. On his way home from Danzig to comfort his grieving wife in New Zealand, Len received an invitation from Reem asking him to be their representative in Australia, New Zealand and South Africa. He responded affirmatively. Not long afterward, on the 31st of March 1932, Len registered the uh, Russian and Eastern European mission, which is now known as World Outreach in Wellington, New Zealand. Len's focus for the next few years was deputation for Reem across New Zealand and Australia. Reem's post-communist focus was the displaced Slavs in nations where they had emigrated. Len heavily promoted their work in, in South America. In addition, he developed an itinerant ministry alternating every six months between Australia and New Zealand. And in 1938, he co-founded the publication of The Evidence, which is now The Nations magazine. Len continued his ministry until the outbreak of World War II. During the war, Len served in charge of the Australian YMCA forces in the Middle East and the Pacific, holding the rank equivalent to a lieutenant colonel. After the war, Len assisted the Eastern European Mission, as it was known then, to work with people of Slavic background in Australia. But as the Slavic people became assimilated into their adopted nation, this work began to wind down. However, new opportunities began to open in the Asia-Pacific region. So in June 1952, the name was changed from Eastern European Mission to the Slavic and Oriental Mission, SOM. By the late 1950s, SOM was associated with a radio program being broadcast across Japan, Korea and the Soviet Union. SOM was also affiliated with a work in Indonesia, which had 20 national workers, and they were supporting a Korean orphanage through a partnership with World Vision. The records are a little sparse around this period to give exact dates. The late 1950s into the early 1960s is the time when SOM began to deploy its first missionaries and open its first mission fields. In an evidence magazine in 1963, it records that SOM had the following fields. 
Japan, Korea, Hong Kong, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, Fiji, New Guinea, Thailand and Australia among the indigenous. And as the fields began to develop, the name of the ministry was changed from the Slavic and Oriental Mission to World Outreach in June 1967 to better reflect its reach into the Asia Pacific region. In January of the following year, 1968, the South Africa field was birthed, then India in October the same year. In 1971, a Christian literature distribution center was established in Saigon in Vietnam, and in August 1972, Rhodesia, which is now Zimbabwe, and Zambia opened, and then Kenya in October. Len Jones died on the 14th of October 1974 after a battle with prostate cancer. Len had authored five books, Confess It, Bloodied But Unbowed, Crucifixion with Christ, Sleuth Hound of Heaven, and Ignorance is Not Bliss. He studied geography and he became a fellow of the Royal Geographical Society. In recognition of his outstanding work and service, Len received an honorary doctorate of divinity from the University of Texas. He is recognized as a missionary statesman, a man full of faith and vision and dedicated to the cause of missions. And from this point, World Outreach has continued a trajectory of growth and fruitfulness to, to the present day. And this is our heritage. And looking back at our heritage shows us our navigation, but vision gives us our destination. We honor the past, we embrace the present, and we excitedly anticipate the future. Or in different words, we celebrate what God has done, we engage with what God is doing, and we pre prepare for all that God will do. And from our humble, faithful beginnings, we are now poised at one of the most pivotal moments in modern day missions. God bless.